Hello everyone, this is Super Galaxy Sam here. Welcome to the stream. By the way, if you hear roosters, uh, I have both roosters in because they decided to pick fights with each other. Um, so I had to give them a quick bath and now they're here. So they're going to be fussy. But they're alright. They're just not the brightest. At least one of them is not the brightest tool in the shed. The other one is just super stubborn um <laughs> anyhow aside from that we are here to do our first 10 hour marathon stream and it's going to be a pokemon scarlet i have the dlc downloaded so we'll play through the main story and try to play through both the in the teal mask and the indigo disc and i also have the epilogue dlc downloaded so for the epilogue to the DLC, and that also accesses Petrarun, and I have online accessibility turned on, so people can play with this game file online. So yeah, we have all that good to go. Give me a moment. They're still being fussy boys. I just gave one of you a fucking bath. I dead ass gave one of you a bath. You stop that. Okay? No. Back. No. You're not doing this to me. All right, that's quickly settled. So, I put a cover on top of the hutch for one of them, so they'll calm down. But uh, yeah, so I did do some training beforehand. I trained up our main team, and then I also additionally trained up extra Pokemon. I caught a Sylveon as well. All that good stuff. So we can continue on with the gym badges. I think we got our grass. Which ones did we get? We got... Um, we got four badges. When? When do we get four badges? Okay. Well, I know we did the grass gym. We did the bug gym, and we also took care of the fire base. Here, who should we go up against next? I think if we go up against, um, I think we should go up against Giacomo next, so we can do that. Because he's kind of an annoying roadblock. Like, literally, he blocks off a good portion. Oh! Now I remember. We, um... 
because they count also the beasts and everything. The fourth badge is from fighting the rock. Titan. But with that said, let's continue. And yeah. Also, reminder, I am still a bit sick. So, I'll probably take quick breaks to uh, take some cough medicine. And let's see here. I should probably switch up my Pokemon. I'm hearing deflated balloon sounds from one of the roosters. Sir, why are you making deflated balloon sounds? Is it because you're upset that I put you in the predicament you're in? Sir, please. You need to fucking chill. So that's why you're there. That's why you're in your little hutch for now. You're in your timeout corner, so that's where you just have to be. Anyhow, whoa, I was training Pokemon. I happened to find a shiny. So I found this shiny Bramblin by absolute chance. I wasn't even looking for it. It just happened. Actually, it doesn't have any markings. I don't think it has any special ribbons. No, it doesn't. And I'm saving this applin for when we go to uh, Kitakami. Because I want to evolve it into a Diplin. Actually, how do you evolve it into a Diplin? Real quick. Diplin. How do you evolve it into Diplin? I think you need a syrupy apple. How do you get one? Shopping details, Mossville Confluence. Oh. Okay. Right, so who to switch out? Because we're going up against dark types. We don't have anything to use against dark types, per se. Actually, let me check this toxicity. Can you remember any moves? Yes, I want to remember... Uh, dis dis discharge. Yep. Actually, we could probably get away with um, this team. I think I have a Firestone, so we can finally evolve him. I've been holding off on any evolutions that evolve with stones or items. So you guys can see those. Sorted by type? Cool.
So let's go ahead. We'll evolve Growlithe. Actually, I'm going to keep this for now. So, there's that. We do have this broom right here, but yeah. Hello, Pokemon trainer. How are you? I'm sick. I I am getting over a cold. I'm at the last stage of getting having a cold, so just coughing. Yeah, but other than that, I'm fine. I'm doing my t first ten hour marathon. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, by the way. That's good to hear. Glad to see you're doing well. A Nintendo membership? I have a... Uh, I did buy a small one for this uh, account file, this game file. Because it's not my main file. And I immediately did over uh, level these Pokemon to like level 40 or so, or around the 30s and 40s, just to speed through the base game. It's mostly just so that way, um, People aren't stuck just seeing me constantly grind through the game instead of playing the main parts of it. Who's my favorite Pokemon? I have quite a few. But like, I like Pokemon like Raikou and um, Rockruff. Yeah, Raikou's pretty cool. I have a shiny event Raikou on um, one of my older uh, Pokemon games. And let me turn up the volume because I was listening to YouTube while well, like Well, like grind, like grinding in preparation for the marathon.
let's see, where are they? Go get him! Go get him! Oh, okay. Okay, man. I, I'm going to whoop your ass. Okay, I'm going to quickly put out one of the roosters.
back. Okay, let's do this. Alright, so that team is... That base is now done.
All right, so that base is now done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go to Porto Mari Marianda. Okay. Thank you, Norton. Wow, okay. Rude. Of course it's a priority move, so it's going to move first. Nope, we're good. We'll deal with the move arrangement for later. We'll deal with that later, okay.
There we go. Here. Let me help my root. You want a perch? You want to get on the perch? Come here. There's your perch. There you go. Now you're on your perch. Yeah. Nice. <coughs> All right. I think now would be a good time to pull out that Bramblin. So we can uh, get them to evolve. Okay, come on. Because the trick with Bramblin, apparently, is you keep him out of the Pokeball for, like, t uh, 10,000 steps or something. Or, like, a thousand steps. It was, like, either a thousand or ten thousand. That is a drastic difference in steps. But it's a difference in steps. It's, it's a lot of steps. Many steps, indeed. <clears throat> Though we could also like face off against the uh type because there's like a titan in the desert. Okay, let me quickly see how many steps is it? Uh, Bram, Bram, Blin. 
how many steps do I have to take? A thousand. It's a thousand steps. It's a thousand steps. Got it. So theoretically, by the time we get over to the city, we have taken a thousand steps. And now there's a rooster tail in front of my screen. I, I gotta move the tail. Move your tail feathers. Your, your tail feathers are in the way, buddy. <laughs> Alright, bye. Oh nice, we got Fire Fang. Oh, my dude. Here we go. <laughs> well, I want him to evolve, so we're going to have to walk more. God, I gotta walk this fucker how long? 
very long. Am I doing this right? There's no way I haven't walked a thousand steps already, have I? How to evolve Bramblin? I don't need to worry about finding one because I already have one. Oh, so like, if I Oh, okay. <coughs> well, all right then. There we go. All right, so you know what? Let's go take on the Titan next. While we're at it, you know. May as well, it's right next door. Where's this darn titan? Oh, there's the fucker. Right in the distance. Right right there. Right there. Right fucking there. Let's go beat it up. Alright. Does that one look kind of funny to you, or? Yeah, no, it's fine. Hello, fucker.
We didn't even get it to 0%. Oh, so you bitch off. Okay. Hello there. Here we go.
Uh huh, sure. Fuck, I wanna go to Jersey Mike's. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe I'll do that for lunch. <laughs> All right, cool. And I also am pretty sure he should be around. The great tusk should be around here somewhere, right? It's been a while. Okay, so it should still be in the desert. So if we look around, it will be around here. Okay. I 
It should be like where you typically find it. Also, is there like a rufflet breakout? No, there. Oh, there's just a lot of rufflets. There's no breakout, there's just a whole bunch. There's the fucker. No, bugger off. Don't bully the child. Mr. Roo, are you looking around? I'll use retaliate. Do I have a desk ball? Yes, I do. Fuck. Okay, that works. No, go away. <laughs> 
Fuck. That's what you get for touching. Gosh darn Claude. Don't touch me. Okay. You can go up here. Yeah, it's his birthday. That is really cute. Okay. So we have this team.
All right. God, don't fucking make me hungry. It's like 11 a.m. It's almost lunchtime. It's almost lunchtime, my dude. And I have a little baby rooster sitting on my Nintendo controller. Our little baby rooster penguin here is actually looking at the screen. Are you look? Are you watching the game? Are you watching the game? Yes, you are. I know my breath is stinky. I'll go brush my teeth after this. All right, awesome.
Penguin, you're not a little bird. You're not, you're not a little bird. No, you're not. You're not little. You're starting to get too big. Can I have the controller back? Please? His feet are still on the controller. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Penguin, please. <laughs> Penguin. Okay, where to next? I guess we could take down another Titan. We got two of them down. Where's the other Titan? Okay, let's go here. And let me quickly brush my teeth and get some medication. Just some cough meds.
took some cough medication. Okay. Back to what we were doing. Oh, no, not you. Fuck off. We don't need Skeledorge at the moment. This should be fine for now. We're actually... Swap Skeledorge out for Toxtrace. Uh, yeah. Fucking Orthworm looks so cursed. So weird. I, I'm not a fan of Orthworm. I am not an Orthworm enjoyer. I hate. Like, it'd be okay if it wasn't for the fucking legs. Fuck those legs. I, I don't like the legs. I really don't. <laughs> oh, this is the weird ass noise it makes. It's like, arr, 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 arr. it's like, I hate everything about this stupid worm. <laughs> like, no. I, I fucking I really don't like this stupid worm. I feel like Julian would be a fan of it though. He's like, oh yeah, look at this silly worm. It's great. It's a steel type, guys. I love it, and it's like. It's it's a stupid worm. I'm sorry, Orthworm enjoyers. I am I'm not a fan of Orthworm.
Nice. All right. go outside. What? Do you think you're ready to go outside? Let's see. I think sunlight will do wonders for you. Yeah. How's your other week? outside. All right, so I've swapped the adult roosters out. So basically, for context, um, I have two adult roosters. They used to get along, and then they started not getting along. So I have constantly had to keep one in and one outside. So one indoors, one outdoors. And when I swapped one of them out today, I thought maybe they would start getting along because they looked like it. And then they got into a little scuffle. So I just grabbed both of them, 
clean them up, and just waited till uh, they were ready to be placed back outside again. <laughs> Is that the same worth room warm or warm or warm? Is it the same fucking worm? Yes, it is the same fucking worm. Let's catch it. Because I don't have any, like, that many steel types right now. I really don't. Get in the nest ball. That works. Okay, but isn't it the Titan? Hello? <laughs> Actually, I should assign a mark. <coughs> I don't feel like tackling her gym yet. Not in the mood. 
So we'll go to his uh, base. Blah, 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 blah. We'll go to his base instead. He straight up is just, how you doing, fellow kids? Okay, I'm gonna switch out Orthworm for Bramblegast. That's a weird glitch. Okay, well...
All right. Got him. All right, so this is where I start the first intermission. I'll see you guys in about an hour.
All right, we're back. We're back. Um, 20 minutes early back, but fuck it, we're back. Let's, let's go. Let's get this going. I, I want to continue already. I'm like, I'm ready. Let's go. I was petering out a little earlier. I was like, okay, maybe that one whole hour is going to be good enough for not just a meal, but a quick nap. Now, after eating, I feel better. So, let's go. Okay, let's go. Sometimes I don't know if the ZR, the R trigger is working. Because sometimes it doesn't want to work. Alright. It's way above our level. We gotta get the bows, boys. The bows. If I remember right, Atticus's face is like a pretty boy face. Like, he speaks in Shakespearean, he dresses up like some fucking, uh, ninja, and he has, like, the blandest pretty boy face ever. It's real funny. Like, bland is in, like, the most stereotypical. The whole white boy with the blue hair... No, the blonde hair, the very, like, typical blonde British boy hair with, like, bright blue eyes and all that shit. And thank you for the follow, Jesse. If I remember right, you told me that you got locked out of your, um main account, so I'm guessing this is your alt. I didn't get to respond earlier to your message last night. Because you, you messaged me during, like, Lammy's competition. How are you doing? And that's good to hear. 
Um, still getting over the cough part of my sickness, but almost completely better. You know what, I'm gonna switch out Orthworm. It's funny because uh, I mentioned this earlier, but I'm not a huge fan of Orthworm. I, I don't like how this Pokemon looks. Can I can I show? Oh yeah, this is in like one of the boss battles, so you can't pan the camera over. But Orth, this is fucking Orthworm. It's derpy as fuck. It's a Steel type. It's not a bug. It's a fucking Steel type. And when it attacks, when it attacks, here, here, here. It has these little doodly ass arms. They're like, well, guess what? It's steel type. I know, it looks like a bug, but the game's like, no, it's steel type. It's not really a bug. They call it an earthworm Pokemon, though. Now we have a uh, Rev of Room on top of a larger Rev of Room. Because the uh, Star Mobiles are the, are like modified Rev of Rooms. Oh. Right, it's steel poison. Right, it's steel poison. Right. And I also saw Morton was here earlier, but during my intermission. But, uh, I made sure to reply with hello. So. Okay, let's switch to Sandaconda. My Andaconda don't. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. There we go. Just to change my phone number, damn. Wait, let me read your message. Is it... It is your phone company, not Twitch itself, right? Oh... And it's not something where if I disable, all oh, you need a verified phone number to talk and chat. It's like something that literally locks you out of your own account. I'm guessing. Okay, that would make me a dark type. Too fat. So it, yeah. So it's something to do with your own account. It's not something that I can like turn off and would allow you to access your the ability to talk on this chat with your original account. Is if I'm understanding correctly. Oh, god damn it. Okay. 
Yeah, that fucking sucks. Damn. I don't know if, um, I have two-factor authentication activated for my account. But that means I'll probably have to, like, deal with it later. Or deal with it eventually, because... I plan on switching phone numbers eventually. I, I don't want to keep my old phone number that I've had for like... Since middle school. And there he is with the pretty boy ass face. Yeah. Can I just say what's funny about um fire the fire girl over there is her boots are so damn big that she actually can't walk properly. Like, they purposely have her, uh, walk like OB, where she has to, like, walk like Spongebob in that one episode. Where he has the giant boots. Oh, so now we can't sing my anaconda. God damn it. Fine. <laughs> Let me also real quick. I want to share what Milan's um is her name Milan Team Star Boots. Mila's boots, not Milan. Shows off her boots. I wanna. Here we go. 
It's so dumb. I just want to share this real quick. So, this is what I mean by Mela's boots are so goofy as fuck. And keep in mind, Atticus canonically designed this outfit. You like my new boots? <laughs> I just just let this sink in for you guys. Pretty cool, huh? Do you like my new boots? She can't properly walk in them. Like this is a canonical thing. This is something they fucking did on purpose. It's so funny. You're not allowed on the internet, please. Listen, it's something that... <laughs> that literally exists in this fucking game. Same for the Spongebob sound effects, but like, literally... Milan walks like that. So really, shouldn't it be Game Freak shouldn't be on the internet? I heard someone's anaconda don't want none and came running. <laughs> Hello, Magno Lupus. Welcome to the stream. Uh, this is my first marathon. We're streaming uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Hola, indeed. Hola, hola. Hello. Uh, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So, about a solid 10 hours. Yeah. I decided, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it just for fun. Because, um... Coincidentally, it just happened to be this character's birthday today, so I was like, you know what? For fun, let's just hold a, mar a Pokemon marathon of my uh, original character's birthday. Before my butt's numb. That's fair. Honestly, the thing is you have to, like, give yourself, uh, moments to just get up and move around. Imagine not playing IDV. I plan on doing an IDV, uh, marathon. I plan on doing a couple. I'll be doing one for my, uh, IDV accounts anniversary in the fall. And I plan on doing at least one for uh, the global anniversary. Identity 5. It's a four versus one game.
I'll be streaming uh, I didn't five tomorrow. Yeah. I I typically uh, stream I didn't five on Sundays from seven p.m. Pacific to uh, ten p.m. Pacific. Let's see here. So I should tackle a gym next. Well, now that I'm feeling a little bit up to speed, I'm gonna go tackle this gym. But yeah, I am like, I'm someone who uh, streams a variety of games, but like my consistent game I stream is um, Identity 5. Okay, where's the fucking gym? Oh, I just passed it. <laughs> I just passed the gym. <coughs> I keep wanting to call him David Hasselhoff. love her. I love her. <laughs> Rika, good. Wait, shit. Why am I exiting? No, it's not because I'm following Rika or anything. I, I need to get back to the gym. I I'm not following Rika. Hello. I totally did not go the wrong way or anything. Wow, not me being on another streamer's live stream again. Please. <laughs> 
<laughs> Clawville just got wrapped up in this. It's like, I'm minding my own business. I don't know why. I remember when, like, this game was being, um, revealed, and, like, they revealed Iono, they were like, are we gonna get a regional form of Magnemite? We never got, uh, her ear clips as actual Pokemon. They're just somehow ear clips. The Iono Hype Squad, please. Oh, we can't change the camera here, got it. Iono Hype Squad forever. Man. <laughs> I remember also like a lot of streamers, like real streamers, either love or hate Ioni Iono. <laughs> yes, destroy your enemies, <laughs> please. He's right there, he's posing as Nurse Joy. Put him next to Nursery and I can't tell the difference fair. I mean, from a distance, it can be easy to miss him. Um, I don't think Tynamo has Levitate yet. Oh yeah, Tynamo does have Levitate. Never mind. I have Accelerock though. Actually, I'm going to sand out Arcanine. And thank you for the follow, Magna Lupus. Thank you, thank you. Let's use Dig! Become Diggy Boy! Become, hang on. 
If you guys type an exclamation mark dig, this is what you get. The crusade of digging. Become Diggy Boy. I, Andrew Christ, am overjoyed to hear you've chosen my Per chosen to pursue my crusade with me, the mission to dig. I will do everything in my power to fulfill this crusade, even if it means I must be shot to the moon. I can verify that moon dirt tastes of cheese, and therefore it isn't the worst failure that can potentially occur, as I shall find a way to dig off the moon and back to Earth. You've joined my crusade 84 times. <laughs> Guys, we're so close to hitting 100. Okay, but what kind of cheese? Monster's fine, but I can't st can't with blue or rogue fart. That is fair. I like my I myself like uh, mozzarella and some of the more like fragrant cheeses. I don't do veined cheeses. That's fair. I, I don't know what a veined cheese is, unless you mean like the ones with um things like truffles and other bits and bobs in it. Mozzarella is fine, but I love a good sharp ch cheddar. You can never go wrong with cheddar. Cheddar's good. Oh, stinky moldy ones like blue cheese. That's fair. Yeah, I've tried blue cheese. And I'm not a huge fan of it. It's only okay for me in particular, very, very particular situations. But I don't personally like it at all. Oh, brie cheese. Yes. Brie cheese is so good. I love brie cheese. So, um, one of the grocery stores in my area, all of these, they have these, uh, brie cheese, baked brie cheeses that you can buy and bake in the oven occasionally that you can get for like eight bucks. And there's different flavors, but the two they currently, I've seen them sell is pecan and cranberry. So basically they have it where you bake the brie cheese and then you add like the flavor that you chose uh, onto the brie cheese and you mix it in. It's so good. Oh, these are these nuts? God. Yes, it is really fucking good. Uh, they mainly sell it around fall and the winter, the holiday season. That's when they like sell it. Uh, I've seen. Big sourdough bread. Oh, that sounds so fucking good. <laughs> Not yet. I need to switch out uh, my team. Boxes. Let me swap them out. Knuckle stack with... um. There we go. That should be good. Let's put Diggy Boy in the front. Oh, that, yeah, that sounds good. Oh. It's fair. That's, that's fine. You're good.
Wait, I want to see the kicks in the background. God damn it. Aw, oh, it changed. Now we don't get to see the kicks. Hello, hello, hola, ciao and bonjour. A literal king gave five thousand po pokey dollars. I'm pretty sure uh, because wait, what is it? So pokey dollars are uh, yen. So yen to USD is like what? Someone just threw like thirty, like thirty for about thirty uh, three fifty bucks at us. $33, uh, 50 cents, roughly. <laughs> oh, there's the kicks. Wait, why am I using a drip? I accidentally misclicked. I love the, um, Sprigatito poster in the back. It's so cute. Oh yeah, fun fact about Belly Bo. Uh the the eyes are not actually the eyes. The um it won't let me pan over. The eyes are actually the two yellow dots in the center. The white orbs are fake eyes. Actually, no. Let's stay in. Dig. Miss Magius, uh, that has levitate. Let's see here. You know what? Why not? Naco stack. Literally a solid stack. Because NACL is just the, um, chemical makeup of salt so it's literally salt stack <coughs> also I'm a little bit sick I'm getting over my cough how much do you want to bet she like it's like attached to like a back pocket or something on her jacket, but you just never see it because she has that long ass hair. Which I swear seems to be like a stereotype for VTubers at this point. 
So many VTubers have like insanely long hair. And it's like long enough that it goes down to knee length, but the thing is, the ironic part is a lot of VTubers models only like show the upper half of their body, so it, it's just interesting. It's it's just very ironic. You've been salt stacked, boy. Oh yeah, and I own chickens, so I do have roosters, and one of them is very, very, very vocal. <laughs> do you want to be picked up, sir? Okay, real quick, I notice I need to put some medicine in his eyes. I'm gonna put him in a little blanket. Mister, you're good. Gonna be wrapped up in a blanket. There. You wanna come up here too? I have a baby rooster with me as well. I have three roosters. One's outside. Okay. She just went and bide.
<laughs> the Jotion just kind of like swiveled. Like, hang on. I, I want to see this real quick. What is this Jotion doing? I I kind of I want to I want to know if I go back in if I go back inside will this reset the animation? Okay, so the Jotion's right there. <laughs> it just oh okay. Well, now it is that. Yeah, if I, uh... Okay, so now it, the animation's working correctly. But for a moment there, the animation bugged out, and it had the Jotion kind of like in the sleeping position and turning towards me. And it looked real silly. Okay, where to next? So we have the dragon den. We have two bases left. There's the other base. We have the psychic gym. Hmm. So we have four gyms left and then two titans and two bases left. You know what, let's go face off against the next base. Let's see here. We have Bramble Gas. We have um, <clears throat> a couple of fire, fire types. We can probably put Santa Condo away. Worm isn't ready, and neither is Claude Sire. Charm, scary face, thief, acid spray. No. Thunderfang? No.
We don't have Venoshock. Uh, we don't have enough Toxo Spikes. I wonder if we should quickly go get some. Because I know where to find Toxels. Gunk Shots. Yeah, let's go find some Toxel. Um, we can do that real quick. So let me quickly just double check. So I don't go to the wrong area for Toxel. Habitat. Southwestern Paldea. Okay. So near the lighthouse and everything. We are... Okay. So we gotta go down here. And then let's swap Pokemon. Just so we have an easy time. And I think we can track. Hello, spooky boys. Welcome to the stream. How are you? I am doing the first marathon on this channel. Streaming for 10 hours. Um, Pokemon Scarlet. I mean, it's a huge stream but like it's a long time to stream but you know what I'm I'm ready for it so yeah gunk shot where was it I saw it <laughs> woof woof indeed Thunder Punch. Here we go. It's Venoshock. Okay, well, I guess we don't get to see on the user interface. I'm halfway to getting a guaranteed white lily. Nice! I hope it goes well. Good luck with it. So I gotta go near the lighthouse, got it. Alright, you go do that. You go be a loaf. Where's the lighthouse? <laughs> Where's that darn lighthouse? Uh...
I will just have to fly to the house and work my way there. I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think he can swim yet. Yeah, I still haven't defeated the Titan that will allow, um, Coridon to swim. Yeah, so if I fly here, I think I'm going to have a better chance of finding Toxels. I'm not 100% sure though, because I found my Toxel um, in a den, in a Terra den. Okay, so I'm in the right. <clears throat> wow, my voice cracked. I'm in the right area for one. What? What? I don't understand why you're... What? Why are you upset at the Pikachu? What's wrong with the fucking Pikachu? My boy. It's just a Pikachu. <laughs> what is what is wrong with this Pikachu? Why are you upset at it? My boy. Why? It is... Is it because you're over-leveled? Watch. I think it's because he's... Um, I think it's because he is... Above the level, caught at level 40 or below, listen to your commands. Okay, that's why. I was like, why you no listen to me? Well, then fine. Looking for Toxos to defeat. That 
That's a shrewdle. That is a very fucking hard to see me out. Because literally the color of the mouth blends in with the color of the lighting. How is power world going? <laughs> it's going good. <laughs> The real Power Worlds game, though, I'm probably not going to play just because it's not my cup of tea. Oddly enough. I, I just think the whole uh, way it looks is very jarring because it's like a whole bunch of like Unity assets kind of slapped together. And also, like, the, uh, creator, or, like, the, um, head of the development team, I think it is, is, like, into AI art, and I'm, like, not for that. I know it is. It, it's just not my thing, personally. Like, if, uh, people on the dev team didn't support AA art, and, like, the art style was a bit more consistent, I would probably play it. Yes, they are. No Toxels yet. Okay, well. Oh! Now I just fucking say it! Fuck you! Reinstalling IDV. Fair. The menu screen for it, it looks really good currently. They have the uh, Chinese New Year video for it, and it's really good. Okay, well, now I got what I needed. I'm going to fly back to where I was supposed to go. Where was I? Where's the fairy boy? I forgot I had red velvet. Oh, I just had a red velvet cupcake today and it was really good. Like it was cooked perfectly. Cooked and made perfectly. Yes, I do. I 
I want to remove acid because it's a piss move. There we go. Uh, do I want some color day I think? No fires, man. I think we're good with flame charge, dig. Shall he accept the role of Dicky Boy in prison? Oh, you can learn Solar Beam. That's cool. All right. Let's go face off Fairy Boy. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so it's very psychic, so I gotta watch out for the psychic typing. Oh, fuck. Well, we can pick up the pace here. All right. I'm still susceptible to psychic types though.
All right. Let me get out a rhubarb. Sort of by type. And you know what? Real quick, I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. I'm gonna level up, do some leveling up. Apparently, I didn't level up enough, or, um, we, not be, we may not be ready for this area. I wonder if I should tackle a different area then. We have the ice type gem up there. We have Larry. You know what? Let's go challenge Larry. How about that? Or actually, wait. Where is the... um? I keep forgetting the... Bombardier Titan exists. Oh, nice. I'll have to um, get him later. Because I do want to record his animations for Chinese New Year. I want to record his animations for the uh, Chinese New Year map interactions. Where's the bird? Where's the bird? His S tier fits with Sculpture's S tier. Yeah, I saw. It's all chest themed. Hers is technically supposed to be like Summer Olympics themed and his is supposed to be chess. Because chess is an Olympic sport. Is la 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 la. Is an Olympic sport, yeah. Honestly, I would not mind a mini game of chess and identity five. I think it would be fun. They could always add one. 
They've already added darts. <laughs> IDV Monopoly won. I mean, it's always possible to 3D print out little IDB themed Monopoly pieces. Especially now that the in-game models are available for downloading. So you can like 3D print the in-game models and turn them into little Monopoly pieces. Oh boy, here's the rocks, boys! Here's the rocks! Oh boy, they're gonna be tumbling down soon. Oh god. Ooh, I made it. That is one pissed off nanny bird. Thank you, Orpheus. You and your turkeys, please. He, I know, he doesn't even sound like a fucking rooster sometimes. He just sounds like a pathetic turkey. He just ends up sounding like a sad excuse for a turkey. It's fine, the salt rock can take it. Knackley, the salt, literally just salt, can take it. The salt can enjoy it. Mmm, potassium. Craving that mineral, boy.
Oh my gosh, rat. Yeah, it's a funny nose rat. Hello, welcome to the stream, Mask Gats. We're marathoning Pokemon Scarlet. And thank you for the follow. I'm in the Minoma, Minoma mood. Um, what level are your Pokemon? Because currently my team is like level 40-ish. I mean, we can try. This is kind of a story team. So I'll go ahead and turn on the online features once this cutscene's over. Oh yay! Finally I can go across water. On my other file. This file has uh, one of my original characters as the main character. I haven't uh, p finished playing the Indigo Disc DLC, but I finished the uh, Kitakami one. Yeah, I won't spoil anything. I think the only set, like, only thing I will say is, um, for some reason, the way they leveled up the, they have the Pokemon leveled for it is, like, very end game content. Even though they say, oh yeah, you can play it whenever. Unlike when they um, did Sword and Shield's DLC where it was kind of like mid-game. Like you can pick it up mid-game. That's the only thing I'll say. Just casual battles. 
<coughs> Excuse me. I'm a little bit sick. I'm getting over the last bit of a cough. You mean no Pokemon with N? Specifically Pokeballs? Like the standard Pokeballs or no using um, Pokeball Pokeballs for capturing? All balls. So for capturing? Okay. And then, do I see your Pokemon nicknames? I'm just seeing if I can like connect to people. Do link battle, okay. Do you want to do single or double? Okay. Yeah, I eventually I'll redo this layout. teams oh it's not gonna let me pull from um, my existing team very well then it will have to be this party Oh my god, you have a shiny Grodon? Nice. Yeah, this team isn't the best prepared. <laughs> So it will probably be a very easy team to take out. <laughs>
Let's see here. Yep. Oh, you have life orb on him? Yeah, this is not gonna work out. <laughs> I'm like, this is not gonna work out for me. Oh well. I'm not going to be able to outspeed him. I can already tell. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, what? G Victor. You're sending out Pikachu? <laughs> oh, so that's what shiny um, Arch Luodon looks like. Wait, this thing has stamina? Oh, shit. Steel Dragon. Quick Claw.
Oh! Well, shit! I- Well, actually, wait. It's, it's dark... Dragon? Dark flying? It's like, either dark flying or dark dragon. Either way, that was not planned. Oh yeah, and I have a rooster, so you'll sometimes hear him. Out you go! I'm, I'm good for now, but thank you. Uh, so basically, Salt Cure, what happened was Nacro Stack has the sturdy ability. So it was able to withstand that one hit. And what Salt Cure does is, even though it's a rock type move, it's strong against um, water types. I can read the description. Check summary. So basically, this is what the move does. Salt cure. If if it will let me read it. No, it will not let me read it. But basically, it does extra damage on water types. But GG. Honestly, I was not expecting myself to survive that long with this team. If you want to do, yeah, I was like, I don't know if you wanted to do another battle or not, so I'll let you decide. Because I got to finish up the story for this file. Yeah. Yeah, so this file, um, currently he does not have... We're actually about to- 
Thank you, Orpheus. Um, we're about to take on, um, Larry, actually. Yeah, only up to, like, level 40 do, uh, Pokemon obey our commands. Orpheus the Orphan, yep. He's also very loud. Okay, where is Larry's gym? I actually struggle to find the gyms in this game. Which is weird to say, but I think it's because the... Um, buildings all look samey. You have to become Gordon Ramsay, yep. Okay, I'm gonna go stick him in another room before he keeps yelling. Sure. Oh, that's cool. Girl, so do you want to battle me or? Girl. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go do this then. <laughs> That's fair. Wanna fight and beat up people? <laughs> A regular seasons their dish. Oh my god, this lags so much on OBS. Oh, so I find it funny how your player character... Hang on, let me show. For those who didn't catch it, what's funny is pay very close attention. So here's your player character, right? Your left is to your left and your right is to your right, right? Here's the door. The door opens... Right, <laughs> but your player character opens the door to the left. I will do it one more time before I continue. It's real funny. They open the door. Here we go. One last time. So they open the door to their left. But the door opens to the right. I think that's real fucking funny. It makes zero sense. They just somehow open it to their right. 
even though they opened it to their left. Lemon. Okay, lemon. Uh, wait. Do we talk to anyone else in that gym? I don't think so. Your squawk ability, squawk ability can talk. That's great. Yes. Yes, you do. Also, I am switching Pokemon because uh, Great Tusk will not listen to me. However, not Santa Conda. Plus I will. The blue bird Pokemon. Twitter? <laughs> oh, it's that shiny item. Okay, back to the kid. No. God, I'm staring at the restaurant right now and I'm like, I could go for some Spamasubi at this moment. Spamasubi so fucking good. Okay. You avoided the attack? What? Avoiding my attacks! Ah, oh, yes, fighting public with dangerous animals is the right choice! <laughs> yeah. To be fair, they canonically show in game that they often move to an open space away from um, people. And I'm guessing the general public knows when there's a fight going on. So they'll keep away. 
Though I don't know about here, other than I will just chalk it up to uh, poor judgment from the child. Since they're being very insistent. But in most cases, I've noticed that at least with the uh, trainers you face in this game, who are about your age or older, they often choose spaces that don't have people around, but um, that's not always the case with the younger kids. Like, the younger kids seem to be pushy with you. All right, trail ba blaze, ba boom. Yeah. You tried. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Okay, I gotta heal up my Pokemon. So what's your clue? I want the ice cream stands. Okay. Got it. Look for the odd one scout. <laughs> Wasn't there like an ice cream stand? Somewhere over here, but Naqua Stacks Evolving. Nice. Garganackle. Gargling Salt. 
Yeah, literally, it's a giant salt rock. Nice. Okay. Check summary. That probably means there's a whole bunch of uh, moves it can remember. I was wrong. Well, I can learn new moves. That's always nice, though. Okay. But yeah, literally, its name goes from, like, basically salt to salt rock to gargle salt. Dark spot surrounded by stairs. Also, I love the little animation they do with the, like, advertisement or, like, bartering. They have the, uh, characters do there. The, ala, ala, hey, 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 ala, ala, holler, holler. Look what we have. It, it, it reminds me of, um, when you go down to, like, the fashion district in, uh, Los Angeles. You have all these street vendors. And they're always, like, advertising their, um, churros and their, um, other foods. Hello, welcome back. Street tacos are the best. I have yet to try a street taco. That are like three for 75 cents hit different, ooh. Fuck, I, well. Lemon. Fuck into the egg. <laughs> I'm just gonna cheese it. Secret dish. Pokemon Scarlet. Grilled rice balls. Fire blast. X, um, medium. Okay. I am the cheese. Indeed I am. I'm the cheese in the whole ass ham. Oh, so the secret menu item sounds delicious. Road. Here, let me read it off to you guys. You could probably even make this at home if you really wanted to. It is grilled rice balls, extra crispy with at the serving size of medium with the garnish of uh, lemon.
cooking stream when? Gosh. That would be fun to do. And this does- does this not sound delicious? Extra crispy medium rice balls with lemon. I had rice patties for lunch. Close enough. Hey, You'd probably enjoy eating a lunch with Larry then. Actually, you'll probably like Larry. Watch. Okay, so we're basically ready. Actually, let me see if there's any items I can give the Pokemon to hold. I think I found enough items they can use. Yeah, I don't really have many items for them to use. Sad. It's fine. Okay. I at least gave him something. Okay, you ready to see the review of Larry, guys? Here. Yes, give us Larry. This is Larry. Hello. I'm Larry. I'm assigned to work as the gym leader of the Medali Gym. Good job of making your way through the gym test. And well, maybe try the other dishes on the menu too sometime. Everything's good here. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. Let's get this battle over with. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love Larry. Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. I just ate, so let's not go too hard. <laughs> Bork! Bork indeed! Spooky, you're in time to see Larry! He's the gym leader here. He's so <laughs> yeah. Moten, I knew you would probably like him. <laughs> Yay! 
Just you wait for the reveal of what Elsie does. He's literally just guy shape. Yeah. Oh, carne asada tacos. Oh, that sounds really good. I think I've had carne asado tacos. Oh, the done sparse. It's literally done sparse, but twice. Also, real quick, let me give context for those who don't know what the fuck is a Dun Sparse. And a Dun Sparse. So, Dun Sparse. Okay, so real quick, this here is Dunsparce. It finally gained an evolution called the Dunsparce. Here's a better view. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. It's this guy, but doubled. And so now, for those who aren't in the loop, now know. <laughs> That's peak evolution TBH, yeah. It's funny because everyone, like, not everyone, but so many people wanted Dunsparce to evolve into something, like, epic or something like that. Something really cool. But they forget that Dunsparce is based off of basically a Japanese meme. A Japanese folklore that doubles as a meme, which is the Tsuchinoko. And the Tsuchinoko is literally a snake with... A fat as fuck body. And that's all it is. is a stumpy little snake. So, of course. They gotta meme him up. They, they gotta meme him up, you know? You know what? I'll swap this out. It can, uh... Relearn Venom Shock at a later point. Oh, uh, and here's the best part. There's two variants of the Dunsparce. There is two segment and three segment. So literally, this means you can have the Dunsparce be the Dunsparce. This is better than getting cornered by my boss. You're pretty good. I might end up losing this. Come on, Larry! Step it up a notch! 
We got hungry customers waiting. Give them something to cheer for, you hear? Show us what you got, Larry. And you too, kid. Well, you heard the good folks. I suppose I can put, put on a bit more of a show. He just doubles down on Staravia's normal type. I think it's time to show you that real life isn't all just being true to yourself. You're just a beer jerky, jerky flying a ring pop bird. <laughs> yeah, just beef jerky flying ring pop. You certainly threw me for a loop. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face, even. I lost, so that means I have to give you a badge, but... That battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? All the rice balls! Damn! Having five gym badges in hand makes it easier to catch Pokemon of up to level 45. Oh, and they'll actually listen to you, too. This is for you, though hopefully a child like you has no need to put on its namesake. You obtained the TM25 facade! <laughs> oh, he's so low energy, baby girl core. Go, give us nothing! <laughs> the dish is here. They've all got flavor. Good flavor, I mean. Oh, and don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary. After all, now I better get back to work if you'll excuse me. <laughs> He's serving rice balls. <laughs> oh, Molten, you're gonna love him. I, you're gonna love him even more later down the road, I feel. I won't spoil what else he does, but he does show up later. Yes, he does show up later. He does. <laughs> Is he the guy that got Isekai? No. Um, you're thinking of Ingo.
It's okay. Yeah, Larry's just great. Larry's Larry. He doesn't really have any special lore. He's literally as plain as he could possibly get. But in the best way. We love a stale 3 a.m. nightstand water king. <laughs> okay. I will have to... F just just for you, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the remaining gym, uh, gems. So I can d uh, go to the Elite Four. Because I think after Larry's, I only have three other gems. So that will go pretty quick. And that will mean more Larry time. Yes, that was a slight spoiler, but I'm not going to say what he does later on. <coughs> what was it? Oh, well. Go, Garganockle. <coughs> I forgot which Pokemon she was sending out. Oh. Yeah, that works for me. Me when the most guy shaped motherfucker. Why is this Pomo trying to... You have fighting moves, why don't you use them? Oh well. And for anyone who's like wondering why the fuck is Minecraft Steve... ...in a Pokemon... It's likely in reference to how, um... To how Spain was part of, like, the Silk Road. They trade things like salt and other spices for um, other goods across uh, with Asia. If I remember right. They like trade 
if I remember right, Spain would trade with, like, the Ottoman Empire and, um, Rome and Egypt. I suppose China, so... And, like, parts of, like, Spain and the surrounding area were very salty. Such as the Iberian Peninsula. I think. I don't know. My brain is slightly fried. In general, like... Stuff has happened to it medically over time, so it's kind of like... I'm in Spain without the A. You're in spin. Spin! Also, Sprigatito's line is based on, like, the type of cat they're based on, I think, if I remember right, is, like, the Iberian Lynx. Meanwhile, with Mia Mascarada specifically, it's, like, inspired by not just the Iberian Lynx, but also, obviously, magicians, but also, like, jesters. <clears throat> you know what, for shits and go-go's, let's do a quick wonder trade. Let's see here. I do want to get Applin to evolve into Diplin. So I might do a quick detour. Because I'm trying to remember if you can enter, even enter the league. Yeah, you can. I think you can enter the league uh, before you finish the other um, paths. And they're all healed up. <clears throat> so there's those gems. And we have Orpheus screaming in the background. So I'll go get him. Let's go to the ice gem next. Orpheus, come here. Orpheus. All right, let's see here. Who can we swap out? <clears throat> well, 
Well, first I want to do a wonder trade. Just for shits and giggles, because why not? Surprise trade. That's right, they call it surprise trade now. <laughs> they don't call it wonder trade. That was fast. Damn. No hesitation whatsoever. Just like that. <coughs> oh, well, crap. I would take that. We got a new friend. Hang on, I want to see this guy. Yeah, we'll raise him. Thank you, Orpheus. <laughs> La creatura. Yes, indeed. La creatura, indeed. We got a fletching. Okay, one more wonder trade and then we'll be off to fight the gym leader. Uh, okay, crap. All right. <laughs> we just got an Empolia. It's a shiny, but it's like a bot made one. No. We we got we got an automated one. We got a bot Pokémon. <laughs> yeah. Anything with like www pokemon gg or whatever is Bot made. Eh. Hello, Enzo. Welcome to the stream. Okay, the birds are right. Hello, Enzo. Welcome to the stream. Um, we we just got a bot Pokemon in in uh Wonder Trade. How are you? And also, what is the little moat? Oh, it's a little crow! Oh, how cute! I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Totally legit, perfect stats, and pulling on holding a master ball. Yep, yep. Um, I do don't I don't mind using them for if I'm stuck with like special raids, though. I will say that much. 
Actually, hang on. Deciding, trying to decide what to play. Oh! Communicating. Ooh. Can we, can we join the Munchlax? No. Here, we'll join a random one. Just to test to make sure it works. Overwatch De by Daylight, Nino Kuni 2. Ooh. Nino Kuni sounds fun. Which one have you not finished yet? I guess would be a good start. Oh, so that's a very unamused looking uh, sauce box that Kuriji has right there. What does Sigza have? Okay, we got a full party. Cool. All of them. Nini Kuni's the only one with the story. Oh shit, we got a alone muck. We got an alone muck, guys. <laughs> Uh, battle. Discharge. Well, are you in the mood more for playing with other people? Or like, play- are you in the more mood for playing with other people? Or playing for a story? Or like, kind of exploration? Crap, I forgot what a lowland muck, uh, typing is. I know it's like poison something. I'll just catch it in, uh, dive ball because it looks funky. So then maybe Nino Guni. Because it's it's like a game that doesn't require you to be online with other people, right? If you want to take things at your own pace currently, then it may be better to go with a game that doesn't require you to play with other people 24-7. Mm. You can still pick out a game that allows you to have multiplayer as an option but doesn't force it on you that way when you do feel like playing with other people you can switch to multiplayer mode yeah there you go where's this muck or why did i call it a muck it's a grimer <laughs> it's a poison dark type i Yeah, I I am losing my touch. Okay, so it's a poison dark type. Well, that was... A fun little surprise right there. <laughs> oh, hey, Jacques. This is our home homeroom teacher.
What's your favorite legendary slash mythical? Ooh. Um. <coughs> I have a few. Rayquaza and um, Raikou are up there. Where the fuck do I go? I think I go up this way. Did they? They said I go up this way, right? Yeah, I go here. Yeah, I like uh, Raikou and um, Rayquaza. I also like um, Zara Aura. <clears throat> Z-Guard's complete form in Darkrai? Ooh, nice. I I remember, like, growing up and during the time when, like, the internet still wasn't as, as big as it is now. And um, this was back when Pokemon hadn't start the, uh, hadn't done, begin the uh, tradition of releasing... There are games to everyone on the same date. Fuck you. So, people were like, wow, what are these weird Pokemon and everything when it came to, like, Surubi talking about Gen 4? And, um... I remember people constantly like, oh, I passed. I remember people constantly using like game sharks to hack Dark Ryan. Like that was kind of the thing, and you were kind of like hot stuff when you had like a uh, game shark. Like people just thought it was cool. They didn't. They didn't care if the Pokemon's hacked or not. They just thought it was neat. That you had like a game shark and you knew how to get mythical event Pokemon like Darkrai in it. Oh, Zekrom's fun. Yeah, I like how Ze Zekrom looks. They have a fun design. Zekrom and Reshiram have really interesting designs. I also like how um the Tapus look. I remember hacking in Pokemon on the 3DS using the QR code stuff. Oh yeah, that's always cool. I have um all the QR codes for the Pokemon saved. Yeah, the Tapus aren't really my favorites, but I do really appreciate how they look. Because, um, well, I'm not a native Hawaiian. Um, I have a lot of family and family friends who live and or grew up in Hawaii. So, uh, Hawaii still holds a lot of uh, cultural significance to me. In, in terms of, like, having people live there and having told me about Hawaiian culture and kind of exposing me to it. And I still have a lot of, like, Filipino relatives who live in Hawaii. So... It's basically, like, the type of culture, like, Hawaiian influence I grew up with is, like, Filipino-Hawaiian, question mark? I don't know how to, what would be the English word for it. Oh, I love Shiny Victini. I have Shiny Victini. Yeah. 
I actually have a legitimate one because they released it as an event. And I have the uh, Victini you get from the Lim Liberty Island event. I like the two regions I remember growing up with and being most excited about was the Unova region. And then while well, I was a college student when uh, Sun and Moon came out, I was still pretty much on the older teen, younger adult end of the spectrum at that period and being very excited about um, the Alola region because those were the two regions that are like most uh, mostly most tied to my family. I named my character Mindy and Scarlet and Violet and she did the thing in Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> nice! Okay, real quick, I need to use the restroom. needed to go away and now I'm back oh no name the character Mindy and Scarlet and Violet and she did the oh oh no oh no oh yeah I don't think I ever fell for that trade, but yeah, that is evil. And I'm gonna get quashed. Oh, nope, I'm good. I'm still alive and I'm still good. That absorb bulb actually helped out. So now my so now there's nothing that's going to survive my uh, torch song. Hurricane? No, fuck, 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 fuck! Mayday, 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 folks! Oh, no, we got another one down! Oh, shit. I thought I could get through. I fucking thought I could. <laughs> Damn it! It's fine. Girl? Wait, actually, no.
Brucia, non binary land, and not today! I don't think they've ever specified what Grusha's pronouns are. So I'm just gonna say non binary legend. Bird sweep. Bird down? Bird down? Well, fuck you. Fuck! We love a vague uh, pronouns, uh, monarch. <laughs> we love a vague, uh, mystery. We love a vague royal mystery. Fuck your ice beam. Normally ice types aren't an issue for me, but this is different. There we go. I'm sad to announce that he did. In the characters page of the- Really? What pronouns to use for Grusha? Here's the description for Grusha. Okay. Oh, he? Transmasculine legend, I guess. Ice King? Oh no, he's Simon! Betty? Actually, what's that version of Ice King that's like the Winter King from Cake and Fiona? Who's a, who's like voiced by who? What's his name? Basically, the fruitier Ice King. How to tell he's an art teacher without him saying he's an art teacher? <laughs> and meow indeed spooky. Alright, so we're going to do a quick detour over to Kitakami.
because I want to uh, get Diplin to evolve. I mean, I want Applin to evolve into Diplin. So, um, Julian can have Seerupant. So if I go to, where are you, here, I did play the DLC on my other file, my main file, just so I know what levels the Pokemon should be before I play the DLC. So, I'll play the DLC after I finish the main game, but I do want to at least unlock it so I can get the uh, CRP Apple. Man, imagine your homeroom teacher just doing that for you. I personally would be like, what the fuck do you mean you cleared it with my parents? What are you trying to do, kidnap me? I'd be weirded out, personally. But then again, I will actually... I think for her job... <laughs> and then my yeah no that would be actually a sane response now that I think about it for a child to have that response yeah no that would be sane to be like you're weird for doing that for my doing that uh for me by talking to my parents about it no I will say maybe it was Paranoid of me to be that child that freaked out over my parent one of my parents going on a boat trip 
<laughs> I I was like, oh no, the Titanic! You're gonna experience the Titanic! Don't go on a boat cruise! She was fine. But I was real paranoid about it as a kid. I think she's upset that people thought Heath was crazy. Which is an understandable response. To be like, yeah, no, Heath's not crazy. My ancestor's not crazy. And even then, they didn't have to be assholes about it. Why is it moving? Why are the trees moving that fast? What the fuck? Who gave the plants caffeine? Look at those plants. They're like. Look. Straight at the weeds are going. Briar, look. Miss Briar! Miss Briar, look! I'm on Kukuhina! <laughs> Miss Briar! I'm on caffeine! Miss Briar, why would you notice me? Miss Briar will not notice you because you're a fucking blade of grass! Aw, I wanted Miss Briar to notice me. Well, too bad, kid. You're literally a plant. Miss Briar, I don't feel so good. Gets the, the handle snapped. Okay. But yeah, the syrupent apple, what was it? Um... Or was it the dip? How do I get the item again? Syrupy apple. Mosfell confluence. Where is it? I'm just quickly googling this. Eastern River Bank. Okay, Eastern River Bank. Got it. Wistful Fields. Okay, so it's like over here. I just gotta go over here. <coughs>
How do I get over there? Well, then again, Coridon can swim, so... Pochienda! Woo woo! Okay. Whoa, what, bro? What level are these fuckers? Oh! So they were like level fucking 50 for my other file, but no. Here they're like. Level 11. Okay, then. I see what how it is. I think it's based on how many gym badges you have or something. I, um, so the other file I have, my main file, I've completed the main story. Uh, hello? Oh, thank you. I've completed the main story and got all the badges I need. This I haven't. She's so mean. Oh, so now she has under level Pokemon. Girl, you gave me a hard time on my other file. I played that file first to prepare for this file. So I know, so that way I knew what I was getting into, but no. Instead, I get surprised with this. Man. I'm just going to spam torch. Oh, wait, I can't. Someone you shouldn't pick fights with?
Can I wander? I don't think it will allow me. Or... Yes! 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 Ha ha! I just need the fucking apple. Fuck yes. I'm looking for the apple. Is this where you sell buy them? Now I can evolve this little feller. Yes, I want to evolve him. When does it learn the move Dragon Cheer? Where does it learn the move Dragon Cheer? Location and details. Okay, so you can get the TM once you defeat uh, Drayton. Got it. <coughs> That's fine. Okay, so I am now going to swivel back to the Paudea region, and we'll go ahead and continue the gym battles. I think after the gym battles, we may return back to the DLC. But that's only if, like, the level 
uh, brackets change. If they don't, I'm just gonna hold off on the DLC till I complete the main story. I'm good. I don't need a tandem mouse, I'm sorry. All right. So we fought Grusha. We'll do a bit of quick training. Back. No, I don't want to go up against Klefki.
Get these stupid little low kicks away from me. <clears throat> no! Go away! Go away! I don't want low kicks near me. Go, shoot. Get you, get away you pesky bugs. Oh shit. There we go. Hey, nice. Oh, this is cool. I haven't been up here, actually. <coughs> like, I don't think I've even explored this part on my main file, either. Oh, no, this is the gym. But, like, I actually haven't explored it.
Okay, so if you haven't beaten the story, the teal mask will be level 10 to 20. And level 55 to 70 after you beat the Elite Four. Lava Indigo Disc. Indigo Disc. Indigo Disc is end game content. Hello, Motion. I'm trying to read what the levels for Indigo Mask should be. What is the level progression like in the DLC? Starts at... Okay, Blueberry starts at 60 and stays that way. Got it. Oh, and with mini cheese. Oh, that sounds so good. That sounds so fucking good. So it sounds like I can do the DLC um, after I defeat the league. So that's what I'll do. I'll defeat the league and then start the DLC for you guys. Fine. We'll fight you. Literally a guy in a van with a machete delivering the goods once a week. That sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. Alright, you know what hour it is, guys? It's time to dig. So let's dig. Dig.
Let's be a diggy boy. <laughs> yes! Time to dig! How did you survive with one HP? <laughs> just coincidentally, just survives with one, one, one HP. Cool. Alright, you know what to do again? We dig. That's what we do on this channel. We dig. Do we wanna switch? Switch? Do we wanna? No. Let's keep digging. All right, time to. You know the word, folks. You know the words, folks. You know it. Dig. We dig. So let's dig. Fuck. And I guess that's the end of the digging. No! It's okay, it's not over yet, folks. We still got more cards up our sleeves. Thank you, Orpheus!
What the shit? It's fine. Wait. What the fuck am I doing? Oh well. What? <laughs> Big Pupper, yeah. Big Pepper that just fucking got annihilated. Yeah. Fuck you. I was training that Matang, but to be fair, I didn't think. <laughs> yeah, I just came back from that fight. I bounced back. Man, that could have gone south so fast for me. Actually, it did. What am I saying? It did go south. <laughs> I bet! Oh my gosh, I love cheesecake. Can I learn any psychic moves? No. All right. Well, time to go for it.
This is interesting. This is a funky gym challenge. Oh, so she's pretty. All right, let's do it. Uh, <laughs> the Mubo stiff. All right, send out your curly I'll just take them down. All right, here we go. <laughs> the smile Mavosta does is just grins, but like with hesitance.
Start small. No, but for real, start small. Don't overdo it if you want to build muscle. Oh shit. Are you gonna just keep using acupuncture? Yeah, you're gonna keep using it. You're going you're going to keep using acupressure. Okay, fine. Oh Well shit. Apple doesn't want me sad. Okay. Let's let's not break the silly little a Apple's heart. All right. Ha! You're gonna kick yourself. That's right. You can't, you can't kick thin air, silly. Acupuncture was fun. One time I had a nervous breakdown the night before my appointment and the acupuncturist nearly gave, gave me a lobotomy with a si- What? That does not sound fun. He likes oxtos. <laughs> Are we just gonna skip over the fact that they almost injured you? Like, severely? Like that, please. Thank you. 
Excuse me? Excuse me? Motion? That's terrifying. All right, I gotta heal up my Pokemon. <laughs> Thank you, Orpheus. Oh my god. This is why I would not do acupressure or acupuncture. I've suffered like miniature like seizures that may or may not have contributed to potential brain damage for me. Going through those was terrifying. I I would not volunteer to do acupuncture uh, as a result. I'm just like, nope, not for me. My body already, <laughs> my body already goes ahead and does its own thing on control. But I don't need it like induced, purposely induced. Resting bitch face. That kind of scared my mom. Please. Hello. Uh, hello, did- did this just freeze? I think your man, uh, acupunctured Pokemon Scarlet. Oh, now it works. And I got us a Titan. We snow. <laughs> or Citado, whatever. Sending this po this Japanese 
Pokemon to another Japanese user. In return, I got another Japanese Pokemon. Probably because Japan's kind of neighbors. Kind of, sort of neighbors. Excuse me, Molten? <laughs> Should I be concerned? Oh my god. She does the oh ho, 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 laugh. What is it called? The Oji san laugh? Of course, I move faster than for a graph, so. Well, damn. That's pretty good of him. How about a bum? How about a bum? Bum bum. Bum bum. Boof, 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 bum. He bum 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 bum. Shup bum bum. Shup boing. Ho 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 ho. Ha. Ha. Shout out to Patessa Zhang. Patch, 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 Oh! Hack chucks the bomb at the bus. Patch chucks the bomb, papa, papa. Horse chucks the bomb, papa. Probably a little bit up. He's got the bomb. 
Kata pati sa pagpapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapap
I love you, Rika. Did I say that already? Fuck, I forgot. I love you, Rika. Okay, last gym. Last gym, we got some ghost types to beat down, baby. Also, Montevera's music fucking slaps. Here, I'll, live, I'll let you guys listen to it for a second. Let me, let me crank up the sound. Let me heal up my Pokemon. Listen to this music. Is this not a good song? Ooh, I like these moves. Holy shit. <clears throat> it has access to a lot of really good moves.
<coughs> okay. All right. So, it is now time for the second intermission. It is lunch, in, not lunch, dinner intermission time. So, I'll be back with that.
All right, me my days. We are back. 20 minutes early, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Communication to the server was interrupted, but who cares? <laughs> I will get a cough drop. All right, now we're back. Whoopee! Uh, I have cough drops. Bleh. Bruh. All right. Okay, <laughs> Pasa. Oh, okay, Pasa, do you too? Rhyme in time. I love Dreepy and Dragapult. I love the Dreepy line. I love how it's like canonically a fossil Pokemon that's been like turned into a ghost, basically. It's, it's like unofficially a fossil Pokemon, but it's basically a fossil Pokemon. I love it. I love it so fucking much. Hey, it's Moist Critical! Hey, you. Opening act. It's literally Moist Critical. He speaks like Moist Critical. K 
He literally talks like Moist Critical. This is... You cannot tell me this isn't how Moist Critical would talk. Oh fuck, I didn't prepare for double battles, shit. Yes, Dora, that means one plus one equals two. Hello, Bork indeed. Oh, this works out fine for me. Indeed. Definitely feel free to just hang around and loaf around. By the way, the um, if you didn't know, people have pointed out that the guy over there on the left, uh, remind, uh, reminds them of Moist Critical, the YouTuber. Like, the uh, trainer talks like Moist Critical and looks like him. Keep on sledging, you got this. Literally, let me let me pull it up. Just just for people's sake. Just cause why not? Moist critical Pokemon. I'll just have it sitting in the um, open image new tab. There we go. Display capture. There you go.
I don't know why, it just amuses me so much. How oh, that's just so accurate. It was cacophony. Indeed it was. Cacophony for you, harmony for me. Oh, I love this part. Watch this. Oh, I thought the little houndstones were gonna pop up. Slidge you up real good in a level battle. God. Now that I think about it, those are Pokemon that I could totally see critical using. He seems like he would probably use those Pokemon. <laughs> God. Okay. All right, here we go. We got this moving on. We got this going on. Ho ho! Yeah. Here comes the Houndstones, watch. They're all gonna just fart, start popping up. Like daisies! Like the Hong in Mulan. In the Mulan movie.
the the whole part where like Mewshu is like, you gotta get out there. You gotta start. You gotta get move on before they stop start popping up like daisies. <laughs> Just stop talking, please, Jesse. <laughs> You're fine.
That was just funny. Literally, the person just fucking chickened out and he goes, Oh, I have work to do! As, as their excuse. They fucking chickened out. And she was upset over it. I don't blame her. <laughs> Please. I wouldn't try because I know I don't do rapping. So, no point in trying to challenge her.
Shit. I gotta get that bayonet off the field. I haven't shot myself in the foot, I swear. Shit, I should have used South Rock earlier. Oh well. Now they start popping up. See, they're like, pop, 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 pop. I love the little dog on there. He's just popping off. Your loss. Oh shit.
Alright, nice. You know, given how typically with 4v4, no, 2v2 matches go online where you can only use four of your six Pokemon, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> like, it literally... That was not too bad at all. Of course, since it's not an online match, there's the uh, fact that we can rely on the crutch of having two extra Pokemon to work with, but still, that's pretty good. I must say, that, that was pretty good. Working with Pokemon that I typically don't use, that... You know, overall, I, I'm satisfied with that, is what I'm saying. Why is it so fucking windy? Who, who decided, yes, let's make it really windy today? Who, who made that decision? Who? I just want to talk. I'm not mad. I just want to communicate. Let me in. Let me have the revo rib vibrava. The vibrava. Fine. Nah, I'm good. Hello there, nurse. Please hail my Pokemon.
<laughs> Rika, I love you. Is that the correct answer? What if I... Fine. What if I did said I did a combination of the three? God, which one was it that I want to say it's the Lavincia gym Tulip Are you free tonight? Well, I'm sorry. I can't fucking remember which gym it was. I thought it was Lavincia, isn't it Lavincia? The, the chick's name's Tulip, right? Oh, is El Fornada? Is El Fornada? Oh, Lavincia is uh, that gem. You know, I forget Iono exists. Sometimes I just forget. <laughs> and I forget her gym exists.
있고 Yeah, he's gonna have to sit this one out. Okay, I think this is the team I'll go with. I'd be glad to have you as the first person to go up against. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Damn it. 
It's fine. Y'all know what we got to do, right? Right? Well, first we got to use retaliate, okay? And then we dig. We got to dig after retaliation. We retaliate with a dig. Oh, shit. Oh, do they nerf reversal? Or am I just using it wrong? Ha 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 ha. Fuck.
Bruh, I am not gonna make it past this one. I I am not I am not gonna make it. Alright folks, we know what to do. We gotta dig. I don't know if we should, like, go visit Kitakami.
damn, we out here with the shinies. Holy shit. <laughs> Nice. I'd say that was pretty good. I'm good. Yeah, I don't need this one. I'm curious. What the what? Uh, hello? For fuck's sakes, this is another fucking bot? Oh well, take it for the Keep the Kami Dex. Or wait, no, it's a. It's an Alolan one. It's... Wow, I love getting bought ones. It's, it's awesome. I love it. <laughs> 
Thanks. I don't know why, but like the bot auto generator ones just kind of cheapen it a little bit. They're useful for like if you need a Pokemon in a pinch for a raid, but other than that, I <laughs> don't really want them. Okay, let's try this. Any other raids we can do? Not really. Man, why why so many crap raids? Why are you staring at me like that? Look at that style she has. That swagger she like fucking throws the ball. I love it. Oh, I love that. Ooh. 
Let me eat that shit up. Well, shit. Damn. God damn. How? Nandiska? Nani? Um. Did. Isn't? Float so faster than the trio. <laughs> okay, well. Oh shit. She's gonna project this move, isn't she? Ha! Huh. We're good for now. Ooh, I want to see what this move is. Damn, you're squishy. Okay, no big deal. This time we should be okay. Right? God, I fucking hope.
Yes, you can th shake things up, please. <laughs> Just, yes. She's gonna try stalling us out. It wasn't enough damage. Now Garganacle should be faster than um Claude Sire. Okay, I just need to stall her out a little more. There we go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love her little pal. That's a good little pal. The child!
god. That was not easy. <laughs> So, spoiler alert, Poppy uses steel type. Holy Christ, that was not easy. <laughs> Crap, I don't have that many Pokemon that can go up against Steel types. Uh, this is not going to be an easy fight for me. <laughs> I'll just say that right now. Um... Like, my best bet would be Skeledurge. Okay, I'll just do this fight. And then I'm gonna, uh... Try starting up Jackbox TV. I don't know if we'll have enough people, though. That's the thing. So, I may just play uh, Pokemon all the way through. And, uh, I'll start up Jackbox if it seems like we have enough people. The little throw she does is cute. She's like, eee! 
like you'd expect from a small child, because she is a small child. Okay. I swear they probably designed Tinkaton and mine with, um, Poppy. Uh, not with, for Poppy. Because literally the hammer is kind of like shaped like a toy hammer. It, it the whole design of Tinkaton kind of gives off like childish mischief vibes. Yep.
Oof. Come on. It's Larry! <laughs> yes! It's a boy! Hello there. It's me, Larry. <laughs> okay. Let's pause here. Let's see if we can recruit people for uh, Jackbox TV. I'm waiting for Jackbox to load up.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and have this here till we get enough people in, all right? If we don't have enough people by like 740, I'll just continue marathoning Pokemon, all right? Here's the code! If I don't see at least, like, three people here, three to four people. Hello! Welcome to the stream! We're doing a little Jackbox TV break. Uh... We're doing, we're doing a little Jackbox TV break, Kai. How are you? Today is the very first stream marathon I've ever done, and it's of Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> also, do I have the, uh, yeah, I have the four. Jackbox party pack installed too. Okay. I know I have three and four, but I was like, shit, do I have both installed? We're. Okay, so we got the main character, Julian, to the Pokemon Elite Four. And his team makes the game hard. I I'm not gonna lie. He actually makes is the Pokemon I chose for his team makes it difficult. No problem, thank you! Yeah, right now we're just uh, taking a break from Pokemon to do some Jackbox TV, but if there's not enough people or nobody like joins uh, between now and like 7.40, uh, I'll just continue on with mar the marathon. Oh, I, I just dropped one of my speakers. It's all right. The speaker is okay. Yes, you are free to join the Jackbox if you want. Anyone's allowed to join. Actually, do I have Globo turned on? Hang on. Uh, let me... Settings. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, audience is turned on. For anyone wanting to join, there is 13 minutes left. Okay, we have uh, Kai. We have Kai here. Let me join on my phone. Do we have someone in the audience? I think we do. I see it. This turned on. I see it. Yes, I do. Bork. We just need um, a few more people. People, come join! Copy link. I will see if people want to join. Feel free to join us. <laughs> People better join so that I can totally beat them at whatever t shirt knockout is. TKO is really fun. Basically, it's like uh, you draw drawings and you also write down phrases and the game scrambles up your drawings and phrases with other people's drawings and phrases and basically mixes mix and matches them. So that way, like, you get someone else's drawing and they get your phrase. And basically, these mixed matched, uh, these mismatched, um, t-shirt designs end up competing against each other and people vote which one gets to win. And believe it or not, the resulting t-shirt designs can actually be bought and worn as actual t-shirts. It is fucking funny. It really is very funny. Okay, we have like nine minutes left. Humans, come join us. I am like literally sharing everywhere. We literally don't have enough people to start. <laughs> Ah! Uh.
but yeah, while waiting, and I'll just show you some examples, so you at least see what happens in the game if we can't play it, if we don't get enough people to play, because I did save like one of the images as a meme. Um, where's my memes? My meme folder. That way you'll at least know what to expect the next time we play Jackbox TV. And we play this little mini game. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna pull up TKO shirts online. I think that'll be easier. TKO shirts. <clears throat> All t-shirts. Here. So you at least see what they look like. So... These are the reserve. These are some of the shirts that can like be created with TKO. So, for instance, this was someone else's drawing, and then this was someone's phrase, and that's what got paired up together. Just leave me be. Um, Among Us, and this is what it looks like in game. So you have the two shirts, and people have to vote which one's funnier. Or, like, which one they like better. I think it's the Stussy S. And not a thong, but, like, the, um, Stussy S as, like, a gold chain. It is better to fail than not to try at all, corn. Set, and then there's set phasers to fun. The great, you stab him, we slab him. This is weird. <laughs> oh my god, someone actually bought their shirt. Mutually assumed destruction. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ, <laughs> and it's like an oversized Pikachu. <laughs> so this was generated with TKO, this image, Th this shirt specifically, and then someone bought the shirt as a physical shirt. Wait, what's this one? Gotta love baked beans? Scientifically, we can't prove that Jesus wasn't Lord P Large Pikachu. <laughs> Anyone need butter? So, yeah, that's basically, um... 
what you can get from TK. What the fuck is this shirt? This is not TKO. What is this? <laughs> that is a terrifying, uh, I voted shirt. <laughs> Quick and easy way to tell people you voted. Yep. A very quick, easy way. Okay. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to get anyone. Sadly. But if you want to stick around and watch me play Pokemon, feel free to. I will uh, share this, though. Also, a quick and easy way to disturb people, yeah. I will share this one funny thing, one funny bit about Pokemon Scarlet that people went crazy over. Well, actually, there was a couple of them. Uh, that doesn't require knowing much about Pokemon. So, in Pokemon Scarlet, I know, Sally, we didn't get enough people, but there's always next time. Um... People pointed out in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, there's a NPC that looks like Moist Critical. And he appears at the Ghost Gym and uses the name MC Sludge. So that's him. And then, um, also... No problem. And then also, um, Mela. Canonically, so one of the uh, characters you go up against named Mela, she canonically wears boots that are too fucking big for her. Do you like my new boots? Pretty cool, huh? She can't walk in them. Like, she canonically cannot walk. They animated her to be like that. And one of her friends canonic- Yes! Yes! One of her friends canonically designed her boots like that. Yes! Yes! It is funny as fuck. It's really funny. And I love it. And yeah, this is M C Sledge compared to Moist Critical. <laughs> yeah. Her friend is uh at, who designed it. The boots is named Atticus. Atticus is this purple guy. Right here. W wait. I was not expecting the boots edit. I, <laughs> okay, Atticus, without the boot, <laughs> Team Star, Atticus, Team Star, this is what he looks like, he canonically designed Mela's boot, <laughs> And made them for her. Also, this is what he looks like without his uh, mask. So. <laughs> and he speaks in Shakespearean on top of that. <laughs> Why would anyone trust Atticus to design their outfits? Well, I don't know, but she did. She did. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know either. Here's the, um... Oh, wait. Twitter won't load it. Open image, new tab. Here's more of the squad. This is, uh, Giacomo. 
there's Atticus and Ortega. <laughs> the pink and per the pink, green, and purple are indeed a choice. He's supposed to be like a uh, poison type. His specialty was supposed to be like is supposed to be poison type. So he has like a toxic or like poison theme going on. And he's like a ninja. <laughs> And I don't know what you think about Giacomo's hair. That is interesting. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he had like little play, pause, and stop, and fast forward buttons on his hat. That's actually pretty neat. Okay. Let me... Yeah, it's very interesting. Let me wake up the switch. Oh yeah. Um So, the guy we're going up against is literally just a businessman. His name's Larry. No, not yet. I gotta heal up my Pokemon. <laughs> his name's Larry, and, like, his speech pattern is very monotone. <laughs> and his whole- so, like, since he, uh, weren't here for it, Larry's whole ordeal is he's like just a standard old businessman and he works overtime so like not only does he work here as an elite four member but he also works as a gym <laughs> kill Larry dead we will do our best against Larry but he also like works as a gym leader and he doesn't want to be an Elite Four. He likes his normal types, but... Um... The head of the Elite Four, named Gita, was like, No, Larry. I need you to choose something else that's not normal type. And he's like, fine. So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four, too. Yes. Unfortunately for me. I don't really do voice acting in these uh, non-voiced games. But I will for Larry. Because Larry. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon. Since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But, well, the boss told me to use a different type here. <laughs> a lot of people love Larry. You are not alone. So, if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. Anyway, time to get to work. <laughs> it's cause he's so damn tired of working so many hours literally okay so like the pokemon gyms are traditionally like themed after like different themes his gym is literally a restaurant and his whole test is you gotta figure out what the secret dish I secret menu dish is to battle him. And. It's so funny. Because. You literally walk up to him. And talk to him. Never suspecting. That he is the gym leader. And so when you go ahead. And are told you can face the gym leader. You watch this businessman Just walk up and go. Hi. I'm Larry. 
I guess you're here for the gym challenge. Okay. Let's battle. And it's so funny. I love it. He's so tired, his face turned into squares. Yeah. By the way, one of the Elite Four members, see that small kid? She's one of the Elite Four. She's one of the best and strongest trainers in the region and she's probably no older than 10 maybe 8 I was fighting an 8 year old That tired throw. You go, King. <laughs> yes. You're so real, though. I love that thing, Dino. Thank you. On my main file, um, I have a, the grass starter. That's a cat. A little kitty cat. I chose the uh, fire starter... Because it seemed fitting for the uh, character here. Love the lack of enthusiasm, Larry. Like, go girl, give us nothing. Exactly! He really is. Go girl, give us nothing. Yes, I love Sprigatito. I'm gonna use priority move. Fuck. I don't move faster than... uh. Star Raptor. Oh well, I at least got Salt Cure applied. This is probably not the smartest move, but I'll take it. So basically, all I'm doing here is this effect called uh, Trastalization that exists in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's this uh, set of games gimmick. Oh, shit. And basically, all it does is it gives extra power to um, uh, moves of the same type. So, the Terra power of this Pokemon is now Ice. So, any Ice type moves will get boosted. Okay, I'll just take it. I'll just bite it. Oh, that was not strong enough. Fuck. Okay. I can use Torch Song. Because this Pokemon is, um, weak against... What? I keep thinking Alteria is a fairy type. Well, fine. Torch that bird. I would love to, but it won't do much. Sans, please.
Ha! What now? Your bird's asleep. Um... This could be possible. This could work, maybe. I would like if it does retaliate. That lazy ass throw, I love it. Fuck. Uh It's flying type, so ground type moves won't work. I mean, let's see here. I can revive one of my Pokemon. <coughs> oh yeah, I have a little bit of a cold. I will revive my big boy. Because if I use recover, I can recover health. Since that should work. What? <laughs> okay. Crap. I might want to switch Garganackle out for, um,. A different Pokemon after <laughs> this match is over cuz I don't think I have anything that can outspeed uh, Oricorio here it's cuz they're very fast and my uh, most of my Pokemon here on this team are slow That's fine. I had a feeling I wouldn't like... I would be struggling later on in the um, Elite Four. But this does mean you at least get to see uh, Rika and Poppy. Okay, so Rika uses Ground-type Pokemon. No, that is correct. Electric types are, against, are strong against flying. I just don't have that many electric types. So are rock types. Rock types are also good. So, I'll make sure to have Toxtricity for, uh, Larry. And this Pokemon here has an ability called, um, Wind Rider. Um... So, if a wind-based move happens to be in battle, it negates the wind-based move, which is great. You, let me in.
Yeah, a lot of Pokemon typings, like, follow the rock, paper, scissors formula. So there's a lot of general common sense to them. Like, we already know, we, it's kind of common sense that, um, fire is effective against grass, grass absorbs water, so it's effective against water, and water puts out fires, so water is effective against fire. And then with flying, it's like, well, if something flies, it of course falls to the ground if it's hit with a rock or it's electrocuted. It's Rika! I love her! I'm actually gonna... Terra early so I can get this boost. Gotcha. <clears throat> yes. Yes! Magic tumbleweed! Believe it or not, this tumbleweed's a ghost. And it, like, absorbs souls, apparently. Which is the weirdest thing. Yes! Yes! It really does! It's... it's something else! This fucking Doug Trio better not take out my... Tumbleweed. Um, I actually have tried one in the past. Like, not uh, long before I did streaming. I wouldn't mind doing one in the future. But I'd probably end up doing it on a fan game that has a Nuzlocke, Nuzlocke built in. Just cause when there's like, when the rolls are already built in, it's a bit easier to manage. And also easier to follow. Cause it's not your own self-made rolls, the games actually impose them on you.
So I'd be happy to uh, do a Nuzlocke on a fan game. Or like, yeah, on a fan game or a modified ROM. Yeah. I, I think I'd have fun with it, honestly. I know of a few ROMs or like modified ROMs that have the Nuzlocke feature, so it's definitely an option. But yeah, I would I would personally do one that already has it built in because that way I can't be a pushover and be like, oh, I can just skip it or I can just jump over this. This is fine. It's like, no, you must do it this way. <laughs> No, she likes to stall. So what she's doing is she, like, uses protect and then attacks the next turn. So she'll protect this turn, attacks next turn, protects again, attacks again. And, like, she makes sure your Pokemon has Toxic thrown on them. So that way, uh, they take damage each turn. Ha! You can't use it. What now? I may be poisoned, but you have an infestation. That actually sounds disgusting. I, I don't want to think about that now, fuck. Infest that thing. <laughs> oh, it do be infested. It's being eaten by Melly as we speak. Melly, Melly, uh, Melly's bees are nibbling on them. No need for Giga Drain! <laughs> but maybe in the future. I think I'm good with Aqua Tail for now. So that there was Rika. I love her little pout. It's such a great little pout. Now you, now you get to see the child. It is, it's so cute. I love it. This is a child. Like, that is canonically a child. That's not even 10 years old. And they're part of the Elite Four. Yes, it's a whole ass toddler. And she's literally the only canonical child in any of the region's Elite Four. Why is she not in kindergarten right now? What? Oh, you want to know what the kicker is? She uses steel type Pokemon. She's a whole ass toddler with steel type Pokemon. I am not kidding you. The first Pokemon, you'll see it. The first Pokemon she sends out is a fucking elephant. Just a straight up metal elephant. She's a five year old 
was. <laughs> yes, she is. She's literally a five-year-old with sentient knives. What you got there? A knife! And it's alive! <laughs> Put away held item. Trying to change up my strategy here. Because I almost had my ass whooped against her steel types. I'm not using uh, my bow stiff against her. I would just have to go with this. Okay, here comes the sentient knife child. Actually, how old is she? Did we ever get a confirmed age? I want to know if this child... Like, I just want to know how insanely young this child is. Is Poppy from Elite... Of the Elite Four. Nine years old! She's nine years old. On average, apparently, most trainers start their uh, journey at 10. So she's just a little under the average age for most Pokemon trainers. Still, though, that's a fucking nine year old. I was expecting more like 8. I wasn't off too far off, because I did guess 8. But I was hoping it was going to be something insane like 5 or 6. Just because I think that would be funny. However, it, it by the way, it is canon within the world of the Pokemon universe that there's plenty of uh, people who choose to be a uh, Pokemon trainers far when they're like in their elder years. Um, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, um, you actually have students who are like 70 or 80 attending the school. She is five-year-olds to me for comedic purposes. <laughs> Exactly! Same hat! I swear! I find it hard to believe- Well, in one way, I find it hard to believe she is nine. On the other hand, I'm just like, Nah, I can see she's nine. But I will believe that she's eight for comedic purposes. Hello, Molten! <gasps> Molten, you're just in time for some uh, fun. We're going up against the Elite Four. And, um... We're fighting a child. That kid is canonically nine years old. And uses... Steel type Pokemon. Like this metal elephant. <laughs> Why is a toddler sending out a war elephant? 
God, I wish I knew. But here we are. <laughs> here we are. You're gonna love the next Elite Four member, by the way. For reasons. You'll see. You will see. I will say that right now. You will see. <laughs> exactly. You will see indeed. Oh yeah, baby! Woo! Woo! We love to see it! We love to see this shit. I will have to get rid of one of these moves. Mm -hmm. I'll get rid of Heavy Slam for now. It's fine. I can, like, get it back. Yes! Earth earthquake for the win. Okay. I'm gonna sacrifice uh, Float So here because I need um, my Fire Ace out. Oh, wait. There we go. This plan better work out. Oh boy. Wait, why do I have Jackbox still listed? Fuck.
Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe. I don't see why not. Ooh, someone wants to learn the move Earthquake. Yes. Yes! I'm not scared. My last Pokemon will turn things around. I say with my nose all uh, knopped up. I, I love how Tinkatung is literally an anime girl with a hammer. Don't ever say Tinky again, please. It, it sounds like pee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Especially since it's coming from a nine-year-old. I'm like, please. Nine-year-olds, don't ever fucking say Tinky. Tinkaton is great. I love, uh, I love the Pokemon. I have it as one of my, uh, main Pokemon on my, on my original file. Tinky, please! <laughs> please! No, 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 bad child, bad, bad little kid, bad. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to try using Aqua Jet. I'm taking a major gamble here. I'm doing this so hopefully Moten can see who is up next. Don't you fucking dig your stupid little stones into my feet. <coughs> yes! I made a comeback. I love how Rika is like a big sister to Poppy. <laughs> Moten! Look who it is! Hello there. 
It's me, Larry. I know, I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the true baby girl has arrived. <laughs> yes, I love... We we love the relation... The friend... The, like... Sibling-like friendship that Poppy and Rika have going. And we fucking love Larry. Just... <laughs> <coughs> Man. <coughs> I want to dunk him in milk and throw him against the wall just to hear the splat. What if I just go ahead and Google and see if there's Lurry plushes? What if I... Like that one lot black kit kitten lost the sauce. <laughs> Hang on. Pokemon Lair Larry Plush. Oh my god! Guys! <laughs> there is a Larry Plush! <laughs> Hi, you can. You can dunk him in milk and throw him against the wall just to hear splat. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm stapling him to the ceiling? Yes, it's a Larry plush! It's a Larry plush! In stock! Pokemon Trainer! You can get this from the Pokemon Center website, apparently. I want to crucify him! He's only 17 USD. Well, depending on where you get it. This seller's selling him for, like, only 17 USD plus shipping. I want to show him his own fan art, please. Mecca Japan. In yen. Um, you can get a Larry plush for about 15 bucks. Enjoy that information. I didn't. Oh, here. Okay. Pokemon Larry fan art. Here you go. A lot of him doing this <laughs> And there's also this. The all fours baby girl pose, yeah. The, the, the true baby girl staple. <laughs> Him with his oricorio. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's him with his normal type Pokemon. After a long hard day of work. <laughs> no! It is, it really is fucking adorable.
<laughs> what the hell is this? Bless <laughs> this interesting fan art. You have very buff Larry, apparently. <laughs> Larry, no, he dropped his, uh, his onigiri. Say something on hedge anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. And here, there's him getting dressed in the morning. Getting ready for work. <gasps> Look at this! He's babysitting Poppy! <laughs> My man is not getting paid enough to do all of this. And here's something from Don Boro. Drawn by Shiro Ginko. <laughs> He's hiding from Gita. I will be unhinged in silence. <laughs> Fair. Here's Morning Larry with a, li with a little bit of dad chub. <laughs> this flamigo, I am no longer asking. And here's the baby girl pose again. <laughs> okay, I think I fed you guys enough of Larry content for now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Dad Chup, my biggest weakness. Well, there you go. And on top of that, yes, he does have a Flamigo. And Flamigos do look like that. They look like the, um, Americana kitschy lawn ornament Flamigos. It's great. I will always be hungry for Larry. <laughs> I am shaking him in my mouth for like a rabid dog now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna switch out Garganackle for Lycanroc. So that way we have a hard hitter. That can like strike fast. And then... We do have, um, Toxtricity as well. Being Raven for Larry is so real of you. Just living my truth! <laughs> Fair! <laughs> Use TM to learn mute moves because this Pokemon has stinky moves.
There we go. So we're gonna start off the team with Toxtricity. All right, let's go up against Larry, guys. So, you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite 4-2. Yeah, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon. Since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But, well... The boss told me to use a different type here. So if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Premiera. <laughs> anyway, time to get to work. This man out here does not get paid enough to do basically double shifts. We stand an unbothered king, yes! Well, I'll be trying my hand with flying type Pokemon this time. Oh shit. All right. I'm going to pivot. Let's hope this works out. <clears throat> I'm hoping Excelerock will take priority. Yes, good. Now the next set of Pokemon should get poisoned. I'm hoping? Oh, no, they don't. Love it. I was hoping you'd touch the ground, but no. That chicken is indeed flying. Yes. And avoiding my poison spikes, which I purposely laid out for them specifically. This is fine. I still have a plan. I still have a plan, I swear. This is fine. <laughs> okay, so let's see your chick status. Lowered attack, defense, and special defense. If I use retaliate. No, fuck your. There we go.
I set up those toxic spikes for naught. <laughs> Fucking hell. Whoa, too late for that. I gotta. Hello, Kane. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We're playing Pokemon. I swear, I put Pokemon Scarlet into the thing. Okay, we're marathoning Pokemon. Ten hours of this. Yeah, the pom pom bird Sally must perish. What was I doing? Oh, I was gonna use a uh, revive on him. How are you doing, Kane? Please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit. Please knock him out. My strategy's been going awry. No, 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 no. Don't use her stinky revelation dance. Fuck! Sans, please, please don't, don't egg Larry on. We actually need to beat Larry, Sans, as much as we love Larry in this house. Exactly, Sans Undertale. The Tumblr sexy men are unionizing, please! Actually, I think Larry- No, Larry uh, didn't exist before the Tumblr sexy men poll, didn't they? Why did, it, did this fucker have to wake up? Yes! Snap out of that confusion! Please use yawn. Please have a yawn go first. Damn it! I think my team is pretty underleveled, so I might need to do some training before we take on Larry. Mm -hmm. 
So I think we're gonna go take a field trip to Kitakami. I want to know if Larry will whimper in defeat if he loses. In my heart, he does! Oh. Okay, so just because of how underleveled my team is, I think I'm going to have to pivot, take a break away from the Elite Four, and go to Kitakami. That way you guys get to still see stuff happen while I train up my Pokemon. And that way, like, instead of me just running around and having the Pokemon just hit everything, you guys actually get to see fun stuff happen. The land of Kitagami. So we're gonna go to here. Fly here. Larry defeated me, guys. <laughs> These Pokemon are too strong. Also, she's pretty. Hi. So for context, this is the DLC portion, and uh, basically they have your main character go on a field trip with uh, another school known as the Blueberry Academy, and you guys visit a place called Kitakami. <coughs> no problem. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you had fun. Right. 
You're mean. And I do mean she is mean. <laughs> She's like, you don't have to do a how you doing fellow kids moment, sir. <laughs> Alright, we'll battle. I'll be too overpowered, unfortunately, but we'll battle. I was hoping to do the DLC after defeating the Elite Four, but the scaling is literally basically zero before defeating the Elite Four, and then all of a sudden a hundred after deleting the defeating after defeating the elite four so there's no in between and i don't know why the wind is so fucking aggressive
I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to look around for uh, different Pokemon and explore the region. Because my hopes are I can find something in this region to help me out with the uh, um, with my strategies. God, there are so many options for what I could possibly do. Okay, what about random? Bruh, no, <laughs> fine. Okay, what's over here? What could I use? Let's see here. I'm trying to see what's available to um, strategize with. So we have grassy terrariums. I wonder if I should actually instead uh, take on the remaining um, bases and titans. Because they'll be scaled to roughly the same level as I am. Which is a bit more of a fair fight. And better training. And plus I am missing a couple of uh, abilities for... Um, Core cool right on here.
What's here? What is here? Um... What spawns in here? There's an Ekans. What's here? <clears throat> okay, so there's a polywhirl. the fuck is it supposed to be? What are you? Show yourself! Oh! It's that gra grass uh, ghost Pokemon. Sinistra. Alright. Or, whatever. Whatever. I, I give up. <laughs> That's a Boba baby! <laughs> yeah! It's a matcha Pokemon. Supposedly the regrets of a tea ceremony master who died before perfecting his craft lingered in some matcha and became a Pokemon. And it's not even a fantastic matcha either. It's a fraud. It's a fraud. It's fake matcha. Ha <laughs> ha 
It's a little hole. All right, is there? There's a star raptor over there. It's even in those woods. So I'm going to actually head back to the Paldea region, and let's see here. I think I'm going to knock out um, the last two titans and bases. I am not prepped for um, Ortega's base yet. So I'm going to actually go for Ares, which on my own file, my original file, I had a tough time with. She was hard. And I have the Titan, the Dragon di Titan, and then... What's the other Titan? Oh, is it just the Dragon Titan? No, nah, it can't just be the Dragon Titan, is it? Well, goddamn, I think it is. So, you know what? I'll do the Dragon Titan next. So, if I fly over here... Also, I'm going to check party po Pokey Portal, Pokey Portal, and see if there's, like, maybe any good raids. Not really. Yeah, they just call it limited genes. There really isn't much of a limit. Like, yeah, there's technically rarities, but... At the same time, the rarities are pretty forgettable. 
Um, for the most part, rarities mainly just dictate on, like, what trait gets bred onto the offspring as priority. So, more common, like, on um, common trait is more likely to appear in an offspring versus an on, um, versus... A uh, pair with an uncommon trait. Yeah. So if you have one parent with a common trait and one parent with a rare trait, the parent with the uh, common trait is more likely to have the common trait appear over the uncommon trait. So it's just basically your base, your basic uh, genetics or Punnett squares. That's really all it is. So you don't have to worry about like a gene not showing up at all or like a one time thing. They don't do that stuff. There are some jinx that you can only get freely during the year, which is like the smirch gene, which you can only get during December. But they don't stop producing it, and like it's pretty easy to get outside of the season because people sell them for like super cheap. So yeah, everything isn't like permanently gone per se. The only like s like breed scrolls or like genetic stuff that you can't get and apply to a dragon anymore is um the imperial breed scrolls because that was a kicks that was a Kickstarter exclusive thing. And per contract of the Kickstarter, they just can't bring it back. You can still breed Imperials, but you can never, like, turn a dragon into an Imperial breed. That is literally the one exception to the rule. We are hang lighting very far. Boink. And by the way, I love these fish. These guys that are dragons, but they look like they purposely look like sushi. They mainly uh specifically look like shish uh, sashimi sushi. See? They're called Tatsugiri. Yes, they are! See? And they pair up with a uh, Pokemon called Dodonzo that literally looks like a sushi chef, and I love it. So there's Tatsukiri. See, he's on a, like a little bed of rice. I 
Actually, it can even be seen better in the um, dex entry. See? And then the Pokemon in the back is Dodunzo. And they are like major sillies. There's like four different forms of them. Of sushi. Oh, to be a little piece of sushi resting on a ball of rice. Yeah. So there's like four different forms. There's like the shiny form, and then there's like curly, uh, stretchy, and I forgot the fourth one. Here's the Titan. He just sinks to the bottom. Yeah. Swimming away. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta follow this guy. You gotta follow this dude. And avoid the Balooza. No, no, no. Not the Bergmites. Get the Veluza away. I don't want to be near the Veluza. They're annoying. Adios, Veluza. Where's the Dodonzo? Dodonzo. Boom. Yes, because it's the actual Titan. Meow. <laughs> so me? <laughs> Mojin, you're saying you're Tatsugiri?
Let's see here. I relate to the small raging fish. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh yeah, this Pokemon is uh, water and dragon type. So if I switch over to uh, Bramblegast. May start making Curse Furby stickers, just warn ya. Feel free to share them on the Discord server. I would love to see them. No dragon post for you. He's just thinking about food. But yeah, literally Dodonzo and Tatsugiri, they work together and they even have like a whole uh, battle strategy surrounded by the two like working together and having Tatsugiri enter the mouth of Dodonzo. I don't exactly understand it because I don't use either Pokemon, but I've kind of seen it on uh, YouTube videos. Uh, that's more than spicy. That sandwich is literally on fire, Arvin. Midnight snack, yep. It's to go with making the Chris Furby stickers. I 
I I honestly really enjoy the animations that Mabostiff gets. And yes, Arvin's dog is best boy. He just wants to see his dog get better. That is great. Look! The good boy is all better! He wants to play fetch! Arvin is like... Overjoyed. Sam, shut up! <laughs> Don't ruin this moment, Sans! I know that feeling, Ar <laughs> Arvin. You don't get to spend much time with your parents and then they go, Oh, go do this for me. I know the answer, but I'm not going to spoil it.
Okay, let's go take out the fighting. Or actually, should I do fairy? I'll do fairy. Is it because I find the fighting uh, base hard? Yes, but also because I already started working on the fairy base. I already started fighting Ortega, so I might as well finish it. Yes, I am. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that is an animation. Um, They have. The bird cleans the mouth. Dachspund. There we go. Ortega! Damn, that is a really fucking pink bus. Julian's pretty buff. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, watch the pop an image of Julian being all beefed up because he is. And yes, Ortega has major style.
That's fine. I'm faster, so... Okay, now I can just steamroll him. Dark Splund. Uh, no. Oh. Well, fuck. I forgot about that ability. But you can't do much if you're asleep now, can you? No, 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 fuck. No. Damn. Good. No, you're not. You are not doing that.
The little tongue going blah, 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 blah. I I saw that. I saw that. That's funny. It's fine, we're still good. Come on, just one last bit. One teensy amount. <laughs> Literally just one last bit. Yes! Nice. They go ahead and they discuss this shit in the rain. I don't th I think you guys should go talk about it elsewhere. Please? Sometimes I honestly think it would have been a good idea to lock certain weather effects. Uh, so they don't play during like inappropriate times like this. Or it's just me saying that as someone who knows how much it fucking sucks to be out in the rain. At some of the worst possible times.
<laughs> Send your Pokeball for once, will you? So, unfortunately, we'll have to save the rest for next Saturday. Well, actually, no. Am I going to be... I think we're going to be at a, an event next Saturday. I'll let you guys know. But I will have to save this for the next Pokemon Scarlet stream. That said, that was 10 hours of... Roughly 10 hours of Pokemon. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found this marathon fun. It's my first time doing a marathon. It didn't 100% turn out as I was hoping because I got sick at the start of the week. So I had to spend most of the week sleeping instead of preparing for the stream itself or really being able to do any other tasks I was previously working on, such as working on an art commission. Um... However, now that I'm feeling much better, I'll be able to return to those tasks. Yippee! Um, tomorrow, I'll be streaming Identity 5 at 7pm Pacific, as I usually do. And, um... I gotta figure out what I want to do for Tuesday. Because Spore wasn't working out. Maybe instead, I will stream more of Pokemon Scarlet on Tuesday? Just because we're so close to finishing the main story. Um, and it kind of feels like a cliffhanger to kind of leave it off like this after 10 hours of playing this game. And hoping to get through the main story in one go. But, nah, apparently we didn't. Um, but I'll let you guys know if we'll be having a stream Saturday. Um, and what we'll be doing for Tuesday. Uh, hopefully I can get things kind of back on track now that I'm not feeling as sick anymore. And yeah. But once again, thank you all for joining me. Um, we're very close to hitting 270 uh, followers. We're very close to hitting 300 followers, which is pretty exciting. And with that said, let's go find someone to raid. Is there someone we can raid? Who is online right now? There is no one online at this moment. So, I guess we'll call it there, alright? Thank you all for stopping by. See y'all tomorrow at 7pm Pacific. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, okay? Bye bye